have you uh, recently locked yourself out of your computer? Because if you have, um, that's okay, it happens. It's happened to me in the past, too. I just recently acquired this piece of software called Password Resetter, and it's for Windows computer users. It's compatible with XP, NT, Vista, 2000, Windows 7, in both 32 or 64-bit versions. And... Um, you know that whole scenario where um, you have a uh, your own account for your computer um, and you have a password to protect your privacy and then for some reason you can't get the password right. You've locked yourself out of the computer and this can happen at home or at work uh, and you're basically in trouble because there's really you need to get back to the desktop so that you can go into control panel you know and reset your password but that's not going to happen. You're literally locked out of your own computer. So what this little bit of software does is it allows you, you, first of all, you download the software and it's very easy. I'll show you, I'll show you me using it. In fact, I'm going to purposefully lock myself out of my other computer, my laptop, and then uh, use the software to get back in. And what it does is it, um, it allows you to burn a reboot disk or you can do a reboot uh, USB drive, flash drive. You pop that in and now there are a few steps after that um, so I do recommend that you read the uh, the help file which is really really short which is nice in the program um, but you can learn those steps and then do this and what it does is it actually like takes down the password uh, completely removes it so that you can start afresh and then you can be taken back to your desktop and if you don't want a password ever again because of the traumatizing experience, that's fine. And if you want to create a new password, now you can because now you can write it down. So let me show you um, me using this. I already downloaded it and password. I have password resetter version 2.0. And over here we have burn disk or prepare USB drive. And here's the help center, which I do recommend reading through first. So you, you know, know what the score is. Um, I can do USB drive, but for this sake, I've already got a disk loaded, and I'm going to burn a disk. And it, it's really cool. It already knows what burner I'm using, so I don't have to mess with that. All I have to do is hit the burn button. And it's it's usually really quick. Last time it, that I tested this, it took about a minute. But if it goes on for too long, then I'll stop this video just, you know, for time's sake. I've got my sabotaged Windows XP account, and what I'm going to do is click on my uh, account username and the password field comes up and so you know let's say I forgot my password and then I hit I hit enter and did you forget your password so we already know this right you, you can't remember your password so what I'm gonna do is I've got the disk burned it burned very quickly the program even ejected the disk on its own so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my uh, my DVD ROM drive and put the disk in give it a second and uh, what I'm going to do now is um, turn off the computer and I am going to restart it now there's something that's really important that's going to happen next and what that is is that you need to go into your BIOS setup screen which the only way to do that every computer is a little bit different um, it's usually F, the F1 or F2 key, sometimes it can be even like the F8 or F9 key. And there's a really quick and brief t uh, period of time that you have to do that. And you do it um, right as your computer is uh, booting right up. Now, I had a little trouble because usually it says on the screen, um, to, you know, for setup or for BIOS, press, you know, F2 or F3. My computer doesn't do that because I have a Sony VAIO and instead it displays the VAIO image over top of that. So I found out that you can very quickly hit the escape button as soon as that logo loads and it will show you uh, which key to press. It'll tell you and then you can quickly press it. Well, I already know on, that on my computer it's F2. So I'm going to go ahead and hit restart and escape. And then it shows you F2, so I press F2 real quick. Entering setup. Okay, and here's the BIOS screen. They're all a little bit different from each other. Just a wee bit different. Um, but what you want to do is basically read the instructions of the BIOS uh, screen. Basically down here, this is going to tell you, you know, what keys do what functions. And then I'll, I'll zoom up a little bit. At the top, you're going to have like your actual 
um, selections. You have your main, advanced, security, boot, and exit. I want um, the boot. And what I want to do is I want to set it up so that the BIOS goes through um, to load um, the right order and I want it to start with our, our disk drive first because they're not always set up this way. Um, if, if you make your, your reboot uh, on your USB flash drive then you want to change the order of these so that your USB flash drive is in the first slot. Uh, in this case, my internal optical drive is already set up to do this, but don't count on that. Sometimes it can be at the bottom, and read the instructions down at the bottom to see how to shift them around into the right order, because you want it to start with, you know, the, if, it, if your boot is a boot disk, you want it to be your optical drive or disk drive, and if it's a flash drive, um, you want that to be the number one. I'm going to use um, save and exit. Down at the bottom it tells me that F10 will do save and exit. So you got to read the instructions and the help file that comes with this program is really great and it does that for you too. So I'm going to do that and then save configuration changes and exit now. Um, the uh, press enter button is to accept it so that's what I'm going to do. There we go, it's loading. Um, so the BIOS setup helped because it ensured that this is going to be you know, the thing that we start with. And again, this can take a second, but it doesn't take very long at all. Um, and, and the burning of this program goes by very quick. This whole process uh, should, shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes. It, it never took me any longer than that. And uh, so I'm going to press OK for English. And OK, now what I want to do is on here, I've got what you want to do is you want to look for the account that you're locked out of that's important to you <laughs> to get back into and um, if it says blank under password that means that there's no password there uh, my account right here doesn't say that so there's still that password that is holding me back so what I'm gonna do is just click on that account that's the account that I need to get into and I'm going to press the reset button it'll ask you if you're sure that you want to do that I'm going to click yes and now see it says you probably can't see it from there but now it says blank so there's no password now so now we're done I'm going to but there's one more step I'm going to reboot and then they suggest that after you hit the reboot button and press yes that you remove the disk and I'm going to do that now all right and here's the grand moment welcome there we are Look at that, it worked. So now if I want, I can go and I can um, enter in a new password and, <laughs> and create a password hint so the next time I don't get locked out and uh, at least, and, and write this down too, or not create a password at all. There you go. Um, if you want the, uh, if you're interested in this piece of software, the link is found uh, below this video in the description. Uh, I highly recommend it, it really does work. So you have a great day.